welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores and have something special for you in today's grocery haul. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend. And of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, Come join us, we'd love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let me turn you around and let's jump into the grocery haul. Since we're doing a grocery haul, I just got home from grocery shopping and my Imperfect Foods box is here. I'm excited to actually let you guys know that Imperfect Foods and Misfits Market are now the same. So if you didn't get Imperfect Foods in your area, but you can get Misfits Markets, they're now the same company. So that's exciting. It opens up this great service to more people. Basically what you're doing when you're purchasing from Imperfect Foods or Misfits Market is you are helping with food waste. By purchasing these food items, these food products at a discount, you're helping prevent waste. It's a company I love. I've been ordering from them for years since we lived in Washington. And I'm just really excited that they now have merged with Misfits Market. So I went ahead and placed a order. I thought I'd show you guys what I grabbed. And then I'll link it down below for you with $20 of free groceries. So go grab your free groceries. Check out Imperfect Foods, Misfits Market, whatever is in your area. So the first thing that I grabbed is this puffin cereal and peanut butter. I thought that this would be really good on my yogurt bowls. You guys know I love just something crunchy. Granola, I like nuts and seeds on my yogurt bowls. And this actually has really, really good ingredients. It is vegan as well. So I picked that up. These are my favorite dog treats to give my dogs. These are the Shameless Pets Bananas for Bacon. You guys, these are, these are $5, $5.50 a bag, $6, something like that. They're just really clean ingredient dog treats. And I wanna say they were just about $4 through this Imperfect Foods order. So you can see, I actually, I think I bought five bags. Yeah, I bought five bags and I bought these ones, the Shameless Pets Pumpkin Spirit Pumpkin and Peanut Butter flavor. Also, just over $4. If you're looking for nice, clean dog treats, really Imperfect Foods is such a good place to pick them up at a better discount. And then I grabbed this pumpkin bread. So I don't know if I'll save this for Thanksgiving, Halloween. I am doing a meetup here in Tucson towards Halloween and I'm having everybody over for breakfast. So I don't know if I'll use it then or save it Save it for down the road, use it for a boot camp girls night. But I picked up that mix and then I also grabbed some of the cream cheese frosting. And then that way I can make basically this pumpkin bread that's on the package. Speaking of pumpkin, I did pick up three cans of organic pumpkin puree. Also when you order from Imperfect Foods or Misfits, you earn points. So I actually got all three cans of pumpkin for free. And then I did grab some Chia Smash. Now this was also on sale through Imperfect Foods, making it cheaper than when I usually buy it on Amazon. So I did pick up a Concord grape. I use Chia Smash on my yogurt bowls. It's a healthy jam alternative, literally made from fruit, lemon juice, chia seed, and dates. I love it. And then I also think I got a raspberry. Yeah, I got a raspberry. So both of those flavors were on sale. Oh, I guess I picked up, okay. I picked up four cans of pumpkin and two bags of the pumpkin treats. That's right, I was like, I'm stocking up. My dogs go through a lot of treats. It is officially pumpkin season. Let's stock up. All of your cold items come in a nice insulated bag. So I did grab two sweet potatoes. I've been kind of craving sweet potatoes. Pick these little pumpkin spice mini muffins from the brand Abe's. No milk, no nuts, no eggs, no soy, and they are vegan. So there's five servings per package. So it's more than one muffin per serving, but I'm just going to have one of the muffins. I thought that was just a fun way to bring in some pumpkin. And then I got some dark chocolate covered cherries. I love these. And the Imperfect Foods ones are really good. So that is everything from Imperfect Foods, Misfits Market. Don't forget to check to see if they're in your area and use that link down below for 20 bucks of free groceries. So this week's grocery haul is from Sprouts and Fries, which is my local 
Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up starting with Sprouts. Sprouts had the six pack of the Simple Mills Almond Flour Fine Ground Sea Salt Crackers. These are individual packs, so there's six packs in here. They had these boxes two for $5. That is an incredible deal. There was only two boxes left, so I bought them both. These are normally like six or $7 a box, and these are some of my favorite crackers. Really, really clean ingredient. Here's your ingredients. I mean, nut and seed flour blend, tapioca starch, cassava flour, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, organic onion, organic garlic, and then rosemary extract. So each little bag is 120 calories. I like to have these as a side when I make a snack plate to dip into tuna fish. I'm actually going to make up some tuna salad for lunch today and I'm going to use these crackers. So if you see that deal at your sprouts, grab it. Tomorrow is my 5K with my boot camp group around the lake and we always bring a healthy snack to share. So I'm going to make these date and nut bars. I'll probably end up posting something in my Instagram story. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them. But these are going to be nice clean ingredient bars. So I needed some chopped up dates. I also needed some shelled pistachios and some raw almonds. And then you also use cashews. You can use peanuts and walnuts, which I have those on hand. I was excited to see my favorite chicken on sale. It does has it does have a sell by date of tomorrow, which I'll definitely be using it up in the next couple days. So I grabbed these for a killer deal. Both packages of these was less than one package normally. And then also in the meat section, they had their 93.7 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef on special for $7 with the coupon. Whenever I buy reduced meat, I either cook it right away or throw it in the freezer and you can just save yourself a lot of money. And then the pot roasts that I grabbed last time were so good that I picked up two more and I'm just going to throw these in the freezer for a pot roast night. I also got two yellow onions, one red onion, and then I decided that I would pick up some bananas. I didn't buy any other fruit this week because I still have quite a bit left from Last week, if you follow me on Instagram or in my Facebook group, you know that my girlfriend was here from Atlanta. We met up with our friend from San Diego. So we spent a lot of time in Phoenix, so I didn't eat a lot of the fruit. So I want to finish that up this week. So that's everything from Sprouts. Let's jump into Kroger. So first thing is some Himalayan gold popcorn for Troy. We already know this is his all time favorite popcorn. He did ask me to pick up some more of the little mini scones and they had these for 95 cents in the reduced bread section. These are the blueberry ones. He really likes these. We both really like these. And then I also saw this in the reduced bakery. This is a rustic flat, soft and crunchy garlic butter flatbread. I thought I would make pizza on this for him for lunch when he gets home from the dentist today. It was $1.68, so that is an amazing, amazing deal. I have a recipe that calls for chicken broth, so I bought bone broth instead just to get in a little bit of extra protein. And then I needed some more rice, so the, actually this is my favorite brand, the Four Sisters. If you can find this brand, it's organic rice. They actually have several different kinds. It was on sale for $4.99 for organic rice, which was about half the price normally, so I definitely grabbed that. I needed some diced tomatoes for a recipe. I did pick up this pot roast sauce for when I do make the pot roast. This looks really, really good. And then I'm excited for Wednesdays. What I eat in a day, I'm gonna make a, I'm planning on making my own at-home pumpkin cold foam from Starbucks, I'm so excited. And I needed sweetened condensed milk for that, so I did grab the fat-free. I also picked up some sugar-free Jello pudding. I really love using the Premier Protein Pumpkin Pie protein shakes, mixing it with the cheesecake pudding for protein pudding because it literally tastes like pumpkin pie. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna mix some of that up as soon as I get done filming this grocery haul. I did grab some zero sugar lemonade. I kind of like having this. It's just something different. I'm just a water drinker, water and coffee. I don't drink any soda at all. So sometimes I like just something a little bit different. So I thought that I would grab that. I did pick up quite a few yogurt. So I grabbed two Oikos triple zero, a peach and a vanilla. Then I grabbed the caramel apple apple pie. I really like this one. And then I have never tried this. This is new to me. This is the light and fit Greek toasted marshmallow. And you know how much I love yogurt bowls. That is actually what I'm going to be making to as a snack as soon as I'm done here. But yeah, I thought the toasted marshmallow would be delicious in my yogurt bowl. And then I grabbed the Tillamook chive and onion cream cheese. We have some Western bagels that we're eating. So I thought this would be nice on those bagels. Some reduced fat light Mexican blend for a recipe, frozen peas for a recipe. I did pick up this candle. It was $3.99. It's cinnamon bun. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. 
It's literally fall. So I picked this up to burn in my office. Some stand and stuff taco shells. I'm doing a baked taco recipe. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. You'll see the baked taco recipe and you'll see the cold foam. And then two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. I also grabbed five 12 packs of Diet Coke. They were buy two, get three free. So it was a killer deal. Those are already being put away out in the garage. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners and Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on the menu for the week. So today's Saturday, out to dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're doing a burger night on our Blackstone Grill. Monday, I'm making baked chicken tacos. You guys will actually see this in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing more tacos. We're gonna do the Baja chicken tacos that I wasn't able to make this last week. I already had all of the ingredients. And then Thursday and Friday is always leftovers to finish up the meals from the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. We are going full on fall and I am so excited. So for breakfast, we're doing pumpkin pie overnight oats. For lunch, we're doing lemon chicken soup with rice. I'm really excited for this. I definitely have been feeling some soup. And then for dessert, we're doing cinnamon, sugar, pumpkin, donuts. Also very excited for that. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything from Imperfect Foods slash Misfits Market. Definitely check it out. Chances are it's in your area now that those two companies have merged. I will put that $20 worth of free groceries down below in my haul from Sprouts and Kroger. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs it up, subscribe. We'd love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box for Imperfect Foods, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, don't forget to come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.